two chambers, eight people, and a whole bunch of fun. Hey, what's going on? I just got back from a really cool shoot where I was working with both the Carbon County Chamber as well as the Pocono Chamber. And we did headshots for their staff. Reason being, there was a lot of promotions, a lot of uh, staff adding, all kinds of good stuff is happening with both of these chambers. Anyway, this shoot was more about getting headshots for these people. Uh, came in, met up with Alice and Liz, found the right spot, set everything up. I was shooting directly to my laptop, which allows for um, easy selection, and we just we just had a fun time of it. Well, I'm Liz Glose, Executive Director of the Pocono Chamber, and we are so excited to be here with Michael Straub Photography today, updating our headshots for our Carbon and Pocono team. Mike makes it super easy, um, and we're really grateful that he joined us. You know, having a headshot is so important. It's a direct representation of your personality, your brand, your organization, and Mike really has given us all the tips and tricks to make sure we have a great headshot, um, especially in these crazy COVID times, it's so important to have a good headshot you know when you're going on zoom a lot of times you have that headshot as a placeholder um, so they're really important now more than ever and we're just grateful that Mike Straub is here with us today helping the chamber staff get some new and updated headshots bring your shoulders to an arch bring your chin up just a tiny bit there you go and look confident and feel confident because gosh darn it you are the executive director <laughs> A job well earned. You came in like a, a wrecking ball, as they said. <laughs> There's the smile. So part of my job as the photographer is to make sure that everybody feels comfortable, everybody feels confident, um, and, and just relaxed. So as I'm going through the process of each person as they come in, I'm, you know, pointing out how nice their outfit looks, uh, the uniqueness of whatever they might be wearing. I'm, I'm just trying to keep everybody feeling positive and good because we're always our own worst critic. And that's one of the challenges I have as a photographer is ensuring people that they look great when it's so hard for all of us, myself included, to actually think that we look great. But the world sees us in a whole different way than we see ourselves. You know, when I meet someone, I'm not looking at the blemishes or the wrinkles or any of that stuff. I'm meeting a person and I'm trying to get to know who they are more inside than outside. So just keep that in mind if you're setting up your headshot session that it's not about, you know, if the hair is perfect or anything like that. Just let your personality come through and then the shot will just be awesome. It's always better to have the clients look at them because then I know they're happy because they got a good shot. They've decided which one they want and they're leaving happy because they know they got a good shot. Looking good, looking good. Chin up just a tiny bit, there you go. Breathe out. There you go. <laughs> That's right, I do. Yeah, I know, I could tell, like by the third shot I could see she's like, oh my God. <laughs> like, I feel very, always very like self-conscious in these. Everybody so, does, yes, everybody does. So that's why you just need to relax. All we do is delete it if you don't like it. It's true. Right? It's true.
having a conversation. <laughs> Next on Dr. Phil. <laughs> Next on the Jerry Springer. No, right. no still not right. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot of fun today working with both the Carbon Chamber and the Pocono Chamber, doing headshots for them in a combined effort because there's been a lot of promotions going on and some shifting. These two ladies have both been promoted to executive directors. Um, Liz, executive director of the Pocono Chamber, and Alice is executive director of the Carbon County. And it's all together with the Lehigh Valley Chamber. So they have some pretty important roles in our community. And I wanted to thank them for letting me be the one to get new headshots and just ask what's new with the chamber? What's going on with you ladies in your new roles? And is there any way that the community needs help or, yeah. you know? Absolutely. Bit. What are well, you guys doing to help during all of this craziness? Well, thank you, Mike. We appreciate you being here with us today. And I think, you know, the Chamber just continues to serve our business community, even through these crazy times. Um, we want to make sure that we can support our business community in any way that they need it. So whether that be through networking events, um, adapting to virtual events and hybrid, or, you know, just simply being able to help them promote their current um initiatives and you know products but we're here for the chamber community and we're always looking to grow so we'd love to add on to our membership and just awesome. help them all out yeah awesome. a lot of what liz said is happening here in carbon county as well supporting our business community uh, like she said and welcoming new members we've had a lot of grant opportunities come through the front door that we've been able to support our members whether giving them information about ppp right now we have a great uh, grant program going on through the county where we are helping our hospitality and restaurant industries so those opportunities are available as well but promoting business we have a lot of businesses open Opening here in Carbon County so we are excited about that expansions all of that is happening so you know we're again here like Liz said for the business community for the chamber community uh, for our community if you're looking at, you know at doing something maybe on the nonprofit side come see us we're able to help awesome they really really are very good at what they do and I know that they've helped promote me a lot and in all seriousness if you have a business think about joining either or both of these chambers. And then you get into the Lehigh Chamber as well, which is all of the Lehigh Valley, and you'll make great connections, learn a lot, and it'll definitely help grow your business. So thank you, ladies, for this opportunity. Thank you. Thanks, Mike.